Hey guys, ZN Ranch again. Uh, I know it's been a while since I put out a video. Um, I'm big into preventive maintenance, as you guys know, so, or maybe you didn't. Uh, I'm a stickler about it. Uh, had my load binders out the other day, moved a couple vehicles around, uh, took them to the junkyards um, uh, for the 46 project over there. Uh, got all the scrap parts off of it, took them in. So I had my load binders out and um, they were a little sticky. Um, it was time to do a little maintenance on them. Uh, this type of binder, uh, the ones I use, uh, they are a, a 5 16 3 8 uh, working load, as you can see, is uh, 5,400 pounds. Um, uh, the maintenance is fairly simple. Unscrew both your ends, uh, righty-tighty on one side and lefty-tighty on the other, so uh, that's how the... The binders uh, go in and out. They're they're not independent of one another. They're uh, clean out this uh, with a toothbrush. Clean out the threads a little bit. Clean the threads on your uh, your chain hook. And then I like to put just a little bit of uh, three in one this uh, fast penetrating uh, oil. It is a good rust prohibitor, as you can see. I, I don't have a lot of rust on my stuff. The paint has come off uh, for a number of years of use. Um, one of these days I might, uh, do a light, uh, you know, sanding and repaint, but you know, these are kind of just, uh, load binders that are out in the weather and work and beating on a trailer. Uh, I don't, I didn't buy them to look purdy. So, uh, the, the one thing I do suggest is, uh, keeping them in like that. I know it's a hassle for the, uh, next time you use them, but, uh, you know, uh, keeps the dust out of them, keeps them threads a little bit uh, cleaner and nicer. So, uh, other than that, uh, uh, got the 46 over there. We're going to start doing some uh, projects here in a little bit on that. And uh, hold on. There we go. Uh, I was charging a battery and it started to click. Hopefully she figures out what, what her problem is. I uh, also bought some uh, motorcycles uh, this last winter. I had uh, the maintenance done on them at the Kawasaki dealer. Uh, they were very low mileage bikes when we got them. Um, uh, no warranty on them, so I just want to make sure they were done right the first time. Uh, they hadn't been ridden in a number of years, so that's why I had uh, Kawasaki do that. But uh, from here on out, we'll do the oil change and filters and, and, and belts and all that uh, at a hundred bucks an hour um, at, uh, with two bikes. It gets kind of pricey kind of quick. But uh, we're going to be doing videos on those. Uh, this is a couple weeks before Thanksgiving 2021, Year of Our Lord, uh, as Tom Sullivan would say. Uh, we're going to start working back here on the fuel, uh, the wiring harness again. Uh, you can see we've kind of got a disaster. My son's uh, uh, stuff, but we're going to be able to get through this. Um, got a lot of the electrical inside. Uh, the braking system is going to have to wait. That uh, did not turn out as planned. Uh, I wanted to have a video on that. Uh, it just... Uh, it was a total debacle on the braking system, guys. So um, the tank is in. Um, as you can see, most of the uh, I've got to start running fuel lines and stuff like that. Uh, figure out how I'm going to run my electrical battery uh, because it's back here on the frame and under the bed. Um, the original was under the in the cab. So we're, we're going to we got a lot to figure out. We're hoping to have her running by Thanksgiving. Uh, that's an ambitious, pro, uh, very ambitious to be let, let you know, but uh, why not, you know? So, uh, once again, we're going to start putting out some more videos. I'm not a very good uh, video editor, so I try to do these videos all kind of one-shot videos. Um, so, you'll, you'll have to excuse me uh, for the shakiness and all that. But, uh, once again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay greasy. Most of all, stay safe out there. Um, a little bit of pre-maintenance like on these binders. If things uh, run smoothly, uh, we tend to be a little safer out there, guys. Uh, once again, be safe.